Welcome to the Tour de Course. It is the third round of the 2011 IRC. The first time an international series has come to this, the coast of, well, Corsica, isn't it? Corsica, absolutely legendary place for rallying. This, a legendary stage. It's the first stage of the rally. We're going to have a look at it. It's 27 and a half kilometres long. We're going to have a look at, oh, the last three, three and a half kilometres. Tell you what, it's bumpy, it's tricky, it's tight, it's twisty, and it's scary. Come on, let's go and have a look. I'm an athlete. In we go. Now, as you can tell, I've got someone operating the camera for me. It is the Duchess of Rally behind the camera. Bexy, great to be back in Corsica. Great to be here for the first time with the IRC. Great to be on these coastal roads. Oh, fantastic to be back in Corsica. One of my favourite places. It is a classic rally. Absolutely legendary, this. Okay. And for the first time in a long time, well, in WRC history, of course, we were just restricted to a base, weren't we? Around Ajaxio and the, the stages there. But now the rally moves further north. We're up in Calvi at the moment. And this is the stage based around Calvi. The road up towards Calvi. We head over to Corte and then back down to Ajaxio. It's a proper tour de course this year, Bexy. And, you know, these are iconic images. The kind of images that anyone who's grown up following rally will have, you know, they'll have recognised from days gone by. Tight, twisty coastal roads, little walls on the outside, on the inside, rock faces. It is so twisty indeed. Now, the first part of the stage, the tarmac is very bumpy, very broken. As you can see, the tarmac here is a lot smoother, it's a bit newer. But you've got just take in those views. You can maybe just pick out the black marks on the road. This road clearly been used for rallying in the past. May well have been used on last year's rally. Not entirely sure about that, but my goodness me, you need some bravery to push on down this kind of stage. It is uh, incredible bravery. We've got sheer drops to the side. Sheer drops to the side. This, you know, it's known as the rally of ten thousand corners. The rally. Dismal virage. Dismal virage, and you can see why the pace notes here have to be so accurate you really do have to uh, work hard as a co-driver Beck says. It'll be pages and pages of pace notes for this sort of yeah, rally. That's what I was just going to say. It's not just the accuracy it is pages of the stuff and you're just constantly talking just punching out the pace notes. If you're late and breaking here, that isn't going to stop you that is not going to stop you. You're over the edge. Bravest boys in the world these rally drivers. Not too many straights and not too many fast corners most of them very, very slow corners indeed. As you can see from the weather here, a beautiful, beautiful evening in Corsica. It's more or less what we're expecting for the rally. This one kicks off 2.30 Thursday afternoon. 24, 25 degrees. Tire wear shouldn't be an issue. It's one run, back to service, another run. Tire choice shouldn't be too much of an issue. I would imagine all the drivers will go out on the same sort of compound, a relatively <laughs> hard compound, Bexy. I don't think There'll be much debate about compounds and yeah, I mean, the weather here, though, Cor Corsica has its own microclimate. So although the forecast is saying, yeah, OK, it's looking dry, we are still early in the year. We've got to remember it's May. Weather can come in very quickly here. Things can change in the mountains. It can be beautiful at the coast. You head into the mountains and what? it's a different story. I agree with that entirely, Bexy. But I think this one, this is the only stage that runs along the coast. Yeah, it does the, wind yeah, its way along the this coast. This one is going to be fine. But I, don't, I don't think we're going to get anywhere. We we might do. We might do. This rally surprised us in the past. And they're tight. These are. There's not a lot of room for error here. There really isn't. If you lose it and you scrape either the inside or the outside, so, so easy to take a wheel off. And your rally's over, Bex. It's a yeah. long one, this one. It is a long one. And you're so right. Everything has got to be precision perfect. Look at the rocks at the side of the road. Look at these little... Well, effectively, they're just kind of stopping you going off the road. You do not want to be clouting those at all. Yeah. It's like being on a roller coaster. It really is like a roller coaster ride. So, Bexy, in terms of these conditions, who yeah. do you think these conditions oh, are going to suit? Yeah. Who do we? Who should we be looking out for this weekend? I think we've got to be looking to Freddie Lloyds. Mm, He's I been agree. here, of course, in the past. He knows Corsica well. He's exceptionally quick on tarmac, and he keeps his head, and that's so important on this island. If I was putting my money anywhere, I'd look to Lloyds, but then we've got to remember we've got people like Kopecki coming here Absolutely. as well. In the so bulletproof strong. Skoda. Exactly. Skoda we know, and it's a long rally, and you need reliability. The Skoda is bulletproof. It certainly is. Let's go around this little baby. Beep, beep. There we are. Jeez, I don't know if you're getting the view over to our left-hand side there, but it is something 
absolutely spectacular. Uh, coming towards the end this one, but yeah, you're right, Bexy. Lloyd's has to be a good bet. Bexky has to be a good bet. What about Pierre Campana? He's a local driver, very, very quick, very young indeed. No experience in the S2000, but he knows these roads. Should we be watching him? I think we should definitely be watching him. I love it when you have, like we always say, a bit of a dark horse. He does know this rally. Definitely keep an eye out for him, but we can't forget others. We have people like Guy Wooks, okay, maybe not the strongest showing in the Canaries on tarmac, but we can't rule people out here. Anything can happen. We see a lot of drama on this rally, Cole. We do see a lot of drama. That, by the way, is the stage. That's the stop. Like, wow, it's the last little bit of the stage. Bex, let's just quickly stop. It says stop on the road there. That is our stop line. Let's just very quickly think about other drivers who may feature this weekend. Andreas Mickelson doing a lot of tarmac driving just now in the Italian Championship. He potentially is due a good result. He could do quite well here. He could do quite well here, but I think sometimes, especially with this event, it is experience that mm. bodes well. Andreas, although an incredibly talented driver, is still pretty young and hasn't got a massive amount of experience underneath his belt. I think he could go well in the opening stages. Fingers crossed for him that he actually clears the rally. Bexy Wex, he's top three here. Go on, give us a one, two, three. Oh, weekend. I am going to go with Loix, Campana, Kapeksky. I'm going to go Loix, Kapeksky, Campana. We'll see what happens. Oh, I we'll can't wait for it to get underway. Well, there we go. That, that hopefully has given you a little flavour of these, well, this one coastal stage here in Corsica. It is dramatic. It is spectacular. It is challenging. It's going to be exciting. All gets underway just after 2 o'clock local time here in Corsica on Thursday. Follow it all on ircseries.com. Uh, well, and watch for our little updates as well on the iRally YouTube channel. Have a little look there, put it into the search engine, iRally in the YouTube search engine, and you can get little clips and videos all around the world. Join us for Rally Corsica. The Tour de Corse starts Thursday just, just after 2 o'clock. <laughs>